Okay guys, we are making these sugar-free pumpkin muffins. They are pumpkin muffins, very moist. They're not pumpkin spice, although there is some pumpkin spice in them. Um, so what we need to do is mix the wet ingredients first. So we added the eggs, the vanilla extract. We're adding pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie mix, because that's full of sugar. We're just adding the pumpkin puree. By the way, all the quantities are gonna be listed down below. And then I'm also adding a sugar-free maple syrup. This adds some extra flavor to it, a little bit of maple flavor. I think it, it makes them much better um, if you've ever had pumpkin muffins before. The maple gives it that fall sort of feeling taste. Um, and then we add some melted butter to it. Make sure you get it all in. Make sure the butter's not too hot when you put it in there, otherwise you'll cook the eggs. So just make sure the butter, the melted butter is cooled. Whisk it all together, get it really well mixed. I sped up the video here, but as you can see, it was really mixed really well. And then we're gonna use another bowl for the dry ingredients. Um, so we're gonna add some almond flour. I always use almond flour. I'll list below um, in the the recipe post, um, how to swap for coconut flour. I used allulose in this video for this recipe, although you could use your favorite sweetener. Um, we don't really get allulose in Canada, so I went across the border to get some. I'm trying it for the first time, but it did turn out really good. Um, so I added some baking powder, some salt, and um, that was it for the dry ingredients. So I just mixed that really well together. Any clumps, I made sure I broke it down so that there's no clumps in there. And then we just mix the wet and dry ingredients together. Make sure those wet ingredients get every little bit out of that bowl into the dry ingredients because you want to make sure you have it well combined and mixed together and you want everything you've put in that bowl mixed with the dry ingredients so that these turn out perfectly. Mix it all together. Um, it kind of looks dry at first, but as you keep mixing it, you'll notice it gets really wet and moist. So don't worry, get it all mixed really well. Dig down in the bottom, make sure there's no dryness left or any of that dry ingredients. Use a large cookie scoops. I used 12 uh, cupcake liners. These are silicone cupcakes uh, liners. You can use paper liners if you wish, although I find the silicone ones, they don't stick in there. So I use a large cookie scoop and I really use a heavy hand in this cookie scoop. I wanna make sure these muffins are full and that they rise when you bake them. Tap them down on the counter to try and flatten them a bit and then you're gonna bake them at 350 for 30 minutes. There you go, they turned out super good. They are very rustic looking, perfect for fall, enjoy!